There are just two game weeks of the Premier League season to go and the Premier League relegation battle is still incredibly close. Today we are looking at the Premier League relegation battle, the results that have just happened, we're going to dissect them, digest them and look forward to the final two weeks. Before we get into this video guys, do share your comments and thoughts down below. I've said 35 to survive for the last month, I think that's going to be true come the end of the season. How many points do you think you need to get to safety? Do as well make sure to hit that like button, we'll go for 303 likes on this video and if you do like your Premier League content, do make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with the videos on this channel. So then over the last couple of results we saw a few things confirmed. Every team above West Ham United in the table are mathematically safe now with two weeks to go. Even West Ham United are pretty much safe with a six point gap and a massive goal difference. Things would have to go so wrong for them to get sucked back into it. And Southampton, the inevitable has been confirmed. They are relegated after their defeat to Fulham. So like I say, we are focusing on these four teams like we thought we would be. Let's talk about their recent results. Nottingham Forest, I did back them to get a 2-2 draw at Chelsea. I thought the chaos at Chelsea was a good opportunity for Forest to go and get something on the road. And for a change, they didn't lose on the road. That could be a crucial point. I know Nottingham Forest took the lead, but they did fall behind and that game did go back and forth. And a draw is a solid point considering the other teams in this conversation didn't win over the weekend. Everton, they lost 3-0 to Manchester City. We knew they had the most difficult fixture and it's not exactly a disgrace losing to Man City who are in such good form. That win against Brighton, like I said, did get them above that bottom three going into this massive game and thankfully for them, none of the teams around them picked up wins as well and they are just above that bottom three still with two weeks to go and possibly with the most favourable fixtures. Leeds United got their first point under Sam Allardyce in his first home game, picking up a 2-2 draw against Newcastle. Just like with Nottingham Forest, there'll probably be a little bit of frustration with the fact that they took the lead. They did also miss a penalty. I I think Leeds United fans will be understandably frustrated that they didn't get the win, which would have taken them out of the bottom three. But to still get a point, considering that they fell behind as well, it could be a crucial point for Leeds United. We'll just go to see how close it's going to be at the end of the season. I do think Leeds are going to be right on the dotted line, whether they're just above it or just below it. As for Leicester City, they also had a tricky game with Liverpool at home. They crashed and burned 3-0 on the Monday night, and it does leave them deep in trouble. Like I say, the teams above them didn't win, but with Forest and Leeds getting draws it just opens the gap a little bit more and the pressure is certainly on Leicester City they are the bookies favorites to go down next with Southampton so then let's get straight into it what are the two remaining fixtures for all of these four teams right in the middle of the relegation sandwich well Nottingham Forest they are at home next which we said is their strong suit but it is against Arsenal the second best team in the league Arsenal did beat them 5-0 at the Emirates obviously earlier in the season but with Arsenal's faltering performances especially against Brighton last time time. Could Forest maybe get a crucial draw in this game, in their last home game of the season? We shall see. After that, it's Crystal Palace away, and I am under no illusions that that is a very tricky game with the form Crystal Palace has been in. Even though Palace don't have anything to play for, I don't think they're going to be particularly charitable and give away points to Forest. But the final day of the Premier League season has thrown up weird results before. Maybe Forest can go and get their second away win in their final away game of the season. Everton, like I say, I do think they have the most favourable fixtures. It's Wolves away next, which once again, be under no illusions, will not be an easy game, but don't have a lot to play for and their form's been a bit hit and miss, so possibly an opportunity for Everton to at least get a draw. They could get a win, remember their last away performance at Brighton, and then at home on the final day, AFC Bournemouth, once again, another team that won't be being charitable. They have stayed up, not a lot to play for, should be an interesting game. I do feel that Everton will sense that they could win at least one of those two games though. Leicester City, well it's going to be difficult. They play last out of these four teams on Monday night against Newcastle United and they could be in a position where they need to win that game or they'll be going down. After that, Leicester City do have West Ham United at home on the final day. Now I do think that is a winnable one, especially with the fact that I think West Ham are going to be safe come the final day. Leicester City can't actually catch West Ham even with two wins from the final two. I do feel that Leicester could win that game on the final day, but could it be too little too late? 33 points. I really don't think that's going to be enough to stay up this season. You can see Leeds United's fixtures just behind that. West Ham United away is next. I don't think it's going to be easy to go to the London Stadium and pick up three points, but there certainly is more difficult fixtures out there in the Premier League. And Leeds United have just got past Newcastle and Man City, which probably were the two most difficult games in the final four. And then after that, Spurs at home on the final day. 
One win out of these two games for Leeds gets them to a minimum of 34 points. Four points out of these two gets them to 35 points. I think four points would be enough for Leeds here. We shall see. So let's have a little look at a table I've constructed here, which looks a little bit like a bingo card. It just shows the possibilities of what these teams need to get to land on a certain amount of points. So for example, if Forest pick up zero points, you can see they'd land on 34 at the end of the season, which is what they're currently on. It is possible 32 points could be enough to stay up this season if Everton, Leeds and Leicester all lose their final games then Everton would just stay up with 32 points. I do think that's unlikely. I think at a minimum one of those three teams will at least get one win in their final two games. Let's have a little look and see if 34 points was to be enough this season. You can see Nottingham Forest obviously don't need to get any more points if 34 was to be enough but they'll be leaving it going to the final day. Everton just need to get two draws to get to 34 points. Bear in mind and they'll overtake Forest with a better goal difference. Leeds United need to go out and get one win. Three points from their final two games would get Leeds United up to 34. And as for Leicester City, they obviously need to go out and get four points from their final two just to get to 34. So I do feel like the pressure's on Leicester City. They certainly look like they're in a lot of trouble at this moment in time. I've said for a long time this season, 35 to survive. If 35 was to be enough to stay up this season, Nottingham Forest just need to go and get one draw from their final two games. Everton need to get one win from their final two. Leeds United need to go out and get a win and a draw. And Leicester City have to go for six points. Obviously, you can't get five points from two games. So they'd have to go for six points to get ahead of 35 points. I have felt confident that 35 points will be enough to just survive this season. And the reason I feel even even more sure of it now is I don't think Leicester City are going to win their final two games and it is a tall ask for Leeds United to get four points. Everton to get one win is not impossible. Forest to get one point not impossible either. I think two of those four teams will get to the minimum of 35 and if I had to put my money on it at the moment I would go for Nottingham Forest and Everton based on the fact they've already got more points than the other two in the bank and their fixtures aren't terrible especially Everton's. I do feel like Everton can get one win from those final two. If 36 points is going to be required to stay up this season Forest need to make sure they get at least two draws. Everton need to go for four points. Lee Leeds and Leicester both have to win their final two games. This probably feeds into my argument that 36 points won't be 100% necessary to survive this season. As you can see, all of the teams would have to perform quite well here to get to 36. Once again, Leeds United have to get two wins as they can't pick up five points from two games. We'll quickly mention the other possibilities. If 37 points was needed to stay up this season, well, Leicester City would be going down because even with two wins, they can't get up to 37. Leeds can with two wins. Everton can get up to 38 with two wins. Forest just need to pick out one win to get to 37. This is kind of the reason I don't think Forest need to go out and get a win necessarily. Although it'll obviously make the Nottingham Forest and Everton fans feel secure, it does look a little bit excessive as the teams would have to perform very well once again. And the final possibility we'll mention is if 38 points was to be needed to stay up this season. For this scenario to play out, Leeds United would have to win their final two games to get to 37 points. And with their goal difference being better than Forest and very close to Everton's, Everton and Forest would both have to go out and get 38 points to just make sure they stay up. I don't think that'll be the case though. So then guys, let me know what you think of that little table. Like I say, it's possible 32 points could be enough to stay up this season if everyone collapses and no one picks up any more wins. The worst case scenario for Forest and Everton is that they need to get to 38 points with Leeds winning their final two games to put the pressure on them. I'm meeting in the middle, like I've said, 35 to survive. I do think 34 could be enough. I can see a scenario in which Forest lose two games and still get over the line. As for Everton, I do think they need to go out and get one win. I think if they go for two draws, that's going to be a bit risky. Leeds United, if they could just win one of their final two games, it'll certainly put the pressure on and give them a fighting chance. Although I do think Leeds maybe need to go for four points. And as for Leicester City, four points could be enough with their favourable goal difference. But to give themselves a strong chance, Leicester City probably need to go out and get two wins from two. It's going to be interesting, guys. Do let me know what you think down below. Obviously, my hunch at the moment is that 
Forest and Everton are in the strongest positions. Leeds are in the best position out of the teams in there. Leicester City are in a weak position. But if Leicester City were to win at Newcastle, then that certainly would put the cat amongst the pigeons. And the Premier League can throw up weird results, so we'll just have to wait and see. So guys, do let me know your thoughts down below. I do think this is probably going to the wire. It is possible it could be all wrapped up this weekend. If Forest get a draw, Everton get a win, Leeds lose, and Leicester don't win, then that will get the gap between 17th and 18th to four points going into that final day. But I do have a strong feeling that at least three of these teams will still be involved going into the final week. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, please do make sure to drop a like. Like I say, we're going for 303 likes. Do make sure to subscribe for more Premier League content, and we'll see you in the next one. It's going to be interesting. Peace out.